Hello again, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and today I'm back with you for another Silhouette Studio tutorial. Now, if you were with me in my last video, we used the knife tool to um, make this tag file in Silhouette Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you another way that I use the knife tool for creating this tag, and that's to make a simple rickrack border. So I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to push Control N on my keyboard, which is going to take me to that new document page setup. And I'm going to zoom in. And let's create a rectangle. And I'm going to scale that to Let's do 5.25 and click Apply. And I'm going to give it a little fill color. And that looks good. So now I'm going to grab that knife tool that I used the other day. And if you remember, we had solid. And I'm going to use solid, and today I'm going to use wave. Now you can see that there's a bunch of different um, knife tool options, and I've chosen the wave one for my rickrack. Now I'm going to uncheck this auto apply because I'm going to apply both of my cuts all at once as I create my rickrack here. So I'm going to take the knife tool and I'm going to drag it across my rectangle. And I can position that about where I want it there. And the neat thing about this knife tool is that if I click on this, and I go to copy and I paste in front you can't see it but there is another copy there so if I grab that and I use the down arrow on my keyboard you'll be able to see both of them and I'll be able to keep these um, wave peaks on my knife tool I guess lined up if you will. And now I can go to my select all and I can click on apply and we'll let Silhouette Studio do its magic and there we go. We have our piece of rickrack border that I used on that little tag file. So this is really a neat option if you want to make something for some handcrafted cards or maybe you're creating um, a banner and you want to make that um, out of heat transfer vinyl to put on. I always loved Rick Rack because I think it kind of gives things a nostalgic look maybe. And that's really all there is to it. Um, if you liked this video, I invite you to um, like it in, below and um, feel free to comment on this video or any of my other videos. I invite you to subscribe to my channel because I have more tutorials planned. Now the tag that I'm making you'll be able to see over on my blog which is sayitwithsimplicity.com and I invite you to come on over there and check out all the projects that I have and that I'm working on. Thanks for stopping by today, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!